It's very interesting to hear from different panels. And I would like to thank the organizer for giving me this opportunity to take part in this aid debate. And I'll be speaking mainly on my experience because I'm a refugee from Burma. And of course, I have to admit, I have a bias I'm in favor of aid. Because without aid, I wouldn't be able to survive and I would be dead. And there's no doubt that many other people in Burma and in other parts of the world, they would be dead without aid. And while I appreciate the aid that we received for my country, I also would like to point out right away here that poverty in my country in Burma is just a symptom of a very brutal and corrupt dictatorship. And while aid does help deal with some of the symptoms, it hasn't tackled the root causes of the problem, which is the dictatorship. The first time I was forced to flee from my homeland was when I was 14 years old. It was when the Burmese army attacked us with mortar bombs, air strikes, and each time the bombs dropped on the ground, the ground would shake. And as children, we were just so terrified. We had no choice. We had to flee for our life. And we tried to go back to Burma, and again, we were attacked. And again, we had to flee for our lives. And there were some NGOs who were helping us providing some basic food and health care and shelter. And we appreciate that. But at the time, I didn't know that which this help and support were from. But later on, I knew where these are from, from governments around the world. And we appreciate that. But the attacks in Burma continues. The human rights violations continues. And humanitarian crisis has become one of the main concerns that people in Burma today face. In Burma, the dictatorship blockades to different areas, especially in ethnic areas. And the denial of aid is at, as effective at killing the people in Burma as bullets and in eastern part of Burma, where the Burmese army is attacking civilians. The levels of poverty and diseases are as bad as the worst conflict hit African countries, but virtually no aid is provided. And in some part of Burma, there are some ethnic political parties with armed wings, and they say, they will cooperate with international community for aid delivery, but the UN and others, let alone working and cooperate with them, they even don't talk to them, say that these ethnic political groups are armed groups. But look in Burma, the biggest armed group is the dictatorship, which international community works with and talk to for the aid delivery. And as a result, not enough aid is reaching the areas, and people die. I now live in the UK, and I work with a human rights organization. We have successfully campaigned for the British government to quadruple aid in Burma. And this aid isn't meant to be provided through the government in Burma. But the government, the regime, has to approve what aid is provided to where and to who. And this aid is meant to be humanitarian purpose. We don't want aid that fund big projects such as dams, and roads, constructions, because this kind of aid is not just likely to be stolen by the authorities 
but can also cause more human rights abuses. I'll give you one example. Dams in Burma have forced thousands and thousands of people from their home, while it generates electricity to neighboring countries and provide a huge amount of money for the generals in Burma. The dictatorship in Burma, they are not interested in development. What they want is control, and what they want is money. So, as long as this dictatorship is in power, it won't be able to bring about change and development in the country. Of course, I want more aid, and I also want it to be delivered in different ways, and I also want it to promote human rights and democracy. I strongly believe that international community should deliver aid on the basis of need and not accepting that the dictatorship in Burma is blocking aid to the people because they are from an ethnic minorities. International community should challenge this and tell the regime that blocking aid to your people is not acceptable. If the regime is not allowed aid to people in Burma, international community should find alternative way. They should provide funding for local communities who crossed into the border areas in neighboring countries, collected aid, supplies, educational materials, and food, and bring it back to their own communities. I have to be honest, I'm getting worried more and more as international community thinks that it is too hard to find political solutions in Burma. So instead, they throw aid money at the problem so that they can say, we are doing something about the problem in Burma. Burma should be rich. We shouldn't be poor, and we shouldn't need aid. Right now, $5 billion of stolen gas revenue sits in foreign banks, and it is more than enough for everyone in Burma to have basic health care. So, at the end, I would like to say, aid in Burma tackles problems, but it is not a cure to the disease, and the disease is the dictatorship. As long as the dictatorship in, is in power, aid won't be able to tackle the poverty and help change the country. So while we are debating about aid, I would like to see international community to tackle the root causes of the problem, which is the dictatorship. Thank you.